Bonjour, je m'appelle Isabella. <laughs> Can you tell that I took one semester of French and I don't know how to say welcome to my channel? I am coming to you from my room, naked faced and hair in a towel because I am doing a get ready with me French edition or how I try to transition myself into a French girl because I have so many desires to be a French girl because I think that they're literally the coolest people ever. They're like effortless. So for this video, I'm gonna be doing my makeup, my hair, and I'm also gonna be showing like three outfits of my French inspired looks. But this thing is really heavy. But let's get into this video before I get a headache from this thing. I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> okay, let's embrace the inner French girl. Un, deux, trois. French people kind of embrace their natural hair and don't do too much with it like styling wise it just enhance it so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna wet my hair again because it kind of dried now we have this situation going on where my bangs are having the time of their life <laughs> crazy my hair is now wet I'm gonna actually part it in the middle because I had bangs before but I'm starting to grow them out and now I'm at this phase where they're kind of like curtain bangs. So we're gonna embrace that. I'm using this ISO bouncy cream and it's basically for control and texture and so basically just to hold whatever you have naturally for your curls. I'm doing about that much and this is just gonna accentuate my curls. Let them live a little bit more. I'm using this oil. It's basically just argon and hemp oil. What this is just gonna do is make your hair shiny. I'm just gonna try and keep my hair as natural as possible. And I feel like it kind of depends on how it's feeling. And if it's feeling frisky, then we're gonna put it in a low ponytail. It's another staple French look that I've seen. And then I'm just gonna shake my hair out like a dog. So yeah, I'll be back to you. Okay, one concussion later, and hopefully my hair dries normally. Now we're gonna be working on the face, and this guy came up last night, so we're gonna deal with him. First off, I feel like French people don't put anything that is chemical related on their face. Like, they kinda just know better. I don't know if that's just what I've picked up. They use very natural products. Obviously they moisturize, so I'm just using the Drunken Elephant Moisturizer. Quite obsessed with this guy. Just really nice and lightweight and it has a really fun little pumpy thing. And then I'm using another Drunken Elephant product. It's just SPF and it has a little bit of color in it. I'm just taking a little bit of that because I'm not a big fan of foundation. So this is kind of what I do every day, especially since I'm trying to clear up my skin. Because my eyes are a little tired right now, I'm just going to be using the Glossier bubble wrap. I need a little help right now. So now we're done with skincare and now we're moving on to the makeup. For French makeup, again, they stay very natural with everything. I'm gonna be doing natural face, then just doing a red lip. Again, they just keep everything so natural and dewy and pretty and I'm obsessed with it. I'm using this guy. It's the concealer that I've used forever. It's the Hey Honey concealer. I think this concealer is actually like an anti-aging concealer. Oh yeah, anti-aging cream. So a little two-in-one there. I'm just gonna be putting on my problem areas. A kabuki brush. A kabuki. And this is from Tarte. So I'm just gonna be aggressively beating my face. Okay, so we're done with that and I'm not gonna do any foundation because Again, I don't want to add too much product onto my face. So due to the fact that this concealer is a little light for me, I'm just gonna add some bronzer and kind of warm up my face a bit. I'm using the Hourglass bronzer. It's just really nice and natural. It has like two colors to it. And I'm doing that so lightly. And then I'm taking this blush from Glossier. It's in the color Puff. That's a cute name. Oh, that makes me happy. I'm moving on to eyes and cheeks, bones, highlighter. 
But I'm just taking the Glossier highlighter and this is in the color Pale Pearl and I'm just putting that right here and a little bit on my nose, my upper lip, and my eye. This is like my favorite way to use this highlighter, which is kind of funny. Right now I look like a little grease ball, but it'll be it'll be good, I promise you. And I'm just taking like an angled-ish brush. Getting all in there for that. So now we're shiny. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzer. I am going to take a blending brush and actually blend a little bit of that into my crease. Did that make any sense? Take the bronzer that I put on my cheek and put it in my crease. Okay. But now on to the eyebrows. I don't know why I keep on talking like this weird British Australian accent. It's kind of like a twist between the both, but it's not French and it's not British and it's not Australian. And it's a problem. So we're gonna need to stop that. Surprise, surprise, I'm using <laughs> Glossier Boy Brow and I use brown. I like a little bit darker of my eyebrows. I'd rather use a little bit than a lot in the sense with my eyebrows because I like when they're like bushy and free and doing what they want with their life. I don't really like to complete the line with it. I just like to kind of brush it all up and go with my natural eyebrow. Keep it really fluffy. I'm just gonna brush it up and then leave it raw. They're never gonna be even, so I just gotta get over that. I just kept them very boyish. That's like the best word I can use to describe it is just boyish, very like untamed. Yet again, using their lash stick or mascara because it's just so good it just makes your eyelashes very like what's that like dreamlike i guess i'm not even curling my eyelashes because i don't want to accentuate my eyelashes too much the goal for this look is not to make any one piece of your face super accentuated or dramatic just enhancing everything so for french people the most iconic thing I can think of is the red lip, but it's not really like a bold red lip. It's a very blotchy, subtle red lip, if that makes any sense. I feel like that's kind of like an oxymoron, but we're going to try to achieve that. I'm just putting on, yet again, another Glossier product, but I'm just putting on the Bomb.com, and this is the cherry one, and I thought it was fitting because it's red. That's already going to kind of create like a base where it's going to be kind of more slippery. Now I'm using this red lipstick that I'm not completely sure if they sell in stores anymore. But it's like my favorite red lipstick ever. So if you can find it, get it. It's the L'Oreal Paris one and it's pro matte gloss. But it just goes on really well. But I'm basically just blotting that on and then I'm going to rub my lips together and use a sheet of paper towel like they used to do in the good old days. I just use my finger to it. There we go. It's not like a bold lip situation. It's more of a subtle lip, but still red. And that's what I really like about it. It looks like it's been worn and I just want to be French, so. So yeah, that's the makeup. It's very light, natural, classy, and just accentuates like your own personal beauty I feel as I feel is just the French culture is just accentuating your own beauty letting everything grow especially armpits and um <laughs> thought it would be fun to try and recreate or for an American to try you know what I mean I didn't know what I'm saying Version is like a macchiato, I think. It's just a long shot of espresso with some steamed 
milk. Hang on, let me 